Good afternoon, good day, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you're joining me from around the world. It's a privilege to have you here with me. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're having a peaceful, quiet Sunday. The focus for this session today is, I will not fear. Yes, that's an emphatic declaration. Personally, and I hope that there are people around the world who would join me to declare, I will not fear. Fear is a weapon that has been used both by the enemy of our souls and by the world today to get people to do whatever they want people to do or be. So I refuse to be part of that fear community. I refuse to be intimidated. I will hold on to the word of God, to the word of God, which says in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Yes, that is the spirit that I will entertain, of power, of love and a sound mind. The Spirit gives us the ability to control ourselves properly, to live above fear. God's Spirit in us surpasses every other spirit that may try to encroach. They won't be successful unless we allow them. We, we, we've got living inside of us the power that raised Christ from the dead. So we must not entertain fear of any kind. Fear comes from the enemy. We put the devil to shame by absolutely trusting God, even when we encounter situations that should frighten us. We boldly declare our trust in God and wait for him to come true for us. Many people have and are engaging in activities which they will not be part of, but due to fear, they tag along. They have been intimidated and convinced that they give in to all evil habits. Fear has captured them. Fear of being alone has taken over half of the world. Hence, we see folks willingly joining the bandwagon of unverified ideas only to be hurt eventually. Fear is a spirit which is very active, claiming lives. Don't become one of those casualties of fear. I will not fear because I know who I am in Christ Jesus. My boast and confidence are in him alone. Instead of being afraid, believe in the God who said in Isaiah chapter 10, Fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God's powerful hand is keeping us safe. Do not be afraid. Fear is the ultimate killer of everything. Many have long died from fear of what is to come, even before the event occurs. Fear has that power to, to destroy a person based on fictional ideas. Fear is a feeling. It is a state of mind which can completely cripple the most healthy and powerful person if allowed to dominate. I love Psalms 23 verse 4. Even though I walk through the valley, the darkest valley, the valley of death, I will fear not for you are with me. I know God is with me. God is always present. One thing I have come to realize is that God is omnipresent. He is ever with us. But fear is not. You are the one who gives in to fear and open yourself to fear when you entertain thoughts that limit the power of the Almighty God. Stop doing that. Let go of fear. When you learn to walk in greater wholeness of mind and victory by defeating fear, you overcome its associates which are anxiety, stress, worry, and depression. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 1 tells us, Fear not, 
says the Lord, for I have redeemed you and called you by my name. You are mine. We have been redeemed and called by God's name. We belong to him. I wonder why it is so much easier to give in to fear than place our faith in God, who has all the answers to our troubles. It just bothers me how we do. Yes, I, I still do sometimes. We're human beings, but we continue to ask God to help us to overcome fear and believe and trust him. I read somewhere that the Bible has says fear not 365 times. There you have it, a daily prescription for every situation that comes to frighten you, every situation that comes to give you palpitation, keep you awake at night. Just find a verse of scripture and apply and give the fear a red card out of your life and space. Stop taking fear with you. God is with us. God knows what lies ahead. Trust in his perfect plans. And carry on living your life according to his will. Psalms 118 verse 6 says, Because you are with me, I will not fear. The Lord is there, my friend, with you. No need to be afraid. I do not know what you're afraid of. I have no idea what's, what's disturbing your mind and really terrifying you. I just come your way to say that you must not allow fear to destroy you. It is a powerful tool being used by the enemy to capture those who open their minds to it. I will not fear. Will you? Let us hold on to our God. No need to be afraid because he says we are his and he's fighting our battles. He's looking and providing for us. I thank you for joining me today. Until I come your way again, it's goodbye for now as you do not entertain fear. God bless you.